Oh no, I'm holding those for my homeboy. Nigga, you grown. Your homeboy grown. Why are you holding condoms for your homeboy? What's up, y'all? I'm Nick Rochelle. And I am Carla Rochelle. And we are a married couple. On this channel, we share explicit story times, product reviews, and just overall have a good ass time. So if that's something you're interested in, then make sure you hit that subscribe button, like, and share. All right, so y'all, today we're going to have a story time. And, um, okay, so... Have y'all ever um, been dating somebody and it just seems like things are off and I'm going to say like your women's intuition, but I think men have intuition too, uh -huh. right? So it's like your women intuition kick in and you like, some, some, some ain't right. Some ain't right about this situation. So, all right, let me just tell y'all um, about this story about this guy that I used to talk to. And, um, I met this guy when I was working at Sam's. I was a cashier working at Sam's. And, um, the crazy thing is how I met him. I met him trying to hook up with another guy. That was the thing. Oh, Lord. Oh, and Lord. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, so basically I used to flirt with the other guy. And, um, this other guy he actually was like well sh he had like he's scared of you i ain't scared you can call me why do you think he was scared of you i don't i think he was shy no oh, you got a strong carly got a strong personality not that strong y'all honest to god <laughs> i it's not that strong usually i like people to approach me you know it was just one of them things where i felt like we had been cool like interacting with each other so I guess I thought I could shoot my shot, but I didn't know he was going to go in his shell like a turtle. So either way, the other guy, um, he tried to pass me his number and I was just like, I ain't, like, I ain't finna call you because I wasn't thinking about him. I honestly never had paid this guy any attention. I remember the one time somebody brought his name up and you was like, they were like, you know the guy, he's a cashier. And I was like, we got a guy cashier? And they started laughing. So um, finally the next day I realized who he was and I was like, oh. So this particular day when I was flirting with the other guy, we were actually at a register together. It was kind of like I was on this side and he was on this side. So we were actually able to look at each other. So after he passed me the number and I didn't call him, it was probably like maybe a couple of days later, he ended up um, like mentioning it. He was like, you ain't never called me. And me, I lied. I was like, I lost the number, but I had actually threw it away that day. <laughs> <laughs> so he gave me the number again. And um, that particular day we had been having a conversation and he seemed like he was cool. So I was like, all right, I'll go and give him a call. And it turned out he was like really cool. So um, we kind of started trying to, I'm, I wouldn't say date y'all. It was kind of like, I guess you could use the term dating because really if you trying to figure out if this is somebody that you like, you would say dating, but we wasn't exclusive. We had not made it a thing. It was just like we was filling each other out. But I think this generation used the word dating. So, um... Either way, it had got to the point where we had started being sexually active. And um, after <laughs> after we had became sexually active, it was somehow we was talking about something and he ended up letting me know that he had a girlfriend. After y'all was sick? Yes. Okay. And I was just like... Playing them games, y'all. Okay. So, um... I guess it was supposed to have been on some open relationship. Like, she know that I'm here and I know that she's there and she's going to talk to somebody. Me, personally, the person that I was back in the day, 
it didn't affect me when he said that because I've always felt like it was no such thing as being in a relationship with one person. And it's just based off of the things that I saw growing up. So I was just like, you know something, it is what it is because that's how I, I felt. It was like people was always cheating around me. So I was just like, why should I get mad about this? So I'm just like, I ain't trying to be with him. So I was just like, okay, it is what it is. So um, we kept on sleeping with each other. Yeah, all of a sudden life happened. And I'm gonna say life happened because the kid ended up pregnant. Mm. That's expected in heterosexual relationships, it's interactions. A, it's, it's expected, but you know something, it's like, I guess I didn't have the educated education that I needed as a female. It was like, it took me to become a grown-ass woman to understand, like, these are the days you shouldn't have sex if you don't want to get pregnant. But, but the days that you shouldn't have sex be the main days you want to have sex. Yes. But if somebody just would have said, Carla, don't have sex um, like a week after your period, I'd be like, oh, okay, good. For those of y'all who don't know, nine times out of ten, that's when you're the most horny. Yes. So, and y'all, I was, I didn't even want kids, right? So, for me to find out that I was pregnant, I was just like, What? So, for, the, for a while, I was in denial, and finally, after re realizing, okay, this thing is really going to happen, and I had ended up having to tell my sister, because I got sick around her one day, so she took me to get me a test, and we found out for sure that I was. So, I had to break the news to him. Um basically how young people are he was just like i ain't ready to have no kids and i he was, was ready like, to fuck and i was like i ain't ready to have no kids either but it is what it is i was like the only reason i'm telling you this is because i don't want to have a child and later on you say i didn't even know she was pregnant I was like, I understand what the situation was. We was just having sex. I was like, I'm not looking for anything from you other than to let you know what the situation is. And y'all, the reason I was like that is because my mom was a single parent. And when I tell you, we believed in the motto, I-N-D-E-P-E-N-D-E-E. And so I was really like, I don't want nothing from you. I'm just letting you know what the situation is. Like, I told him I'm not expecting no money from you. I'm not expecting you to come and get the child. I'm just basically letting you know what it is up front. So, um, he ended up telling me, well, this later down the line, he was just like, well, if you're going to have the child, he was like, I'm going to be there. So, I was like, okay, cool. Yeah, so at this time, I was actually living with my sister. But because I believe in being independent, I was just like, you know something? I cannot stay with her anymore. I got to find my own place. So I basically end up getting my own place. And me and him, y'all, it was like we still kept, like, interacting with each other. We were still having sex and everything. And um, we basically... Something happened where he ended up not graduating on time and he ended up having to ask me if he could move in with me. I, understood God, did not want this joker to move in with me. And um, I was basically gave him a third degree. I'm like, how long? He was like, not that long. He was like, um, I just got the complete uh, extra year because I messed up on some classes. So I was like, I was like, but are you asking to stay with me for a year? He was like, no, he was like more like six months because I'm trying to find a roommate who I can room with. Um, and I just was like, oh. in front of him, like basically blatantly letting him know I didn't want him to stay with me. So I end up saying, okay, you can stay here for six months. So um, he was basically working part time and then going to school and I was working full time. And um what happened it was like during that time we was having situations where i might come like home he wouldn't speak 
he would be on the computer like entertaining other females it was just like blatantly like we was doing our own thing i even had a situation where one of my ex-boyfriends had called my house he had the nerves to get mad and i was just like but you 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 do what you want to do but that's how some men are well that's how a lot of men are a lot of men think it's okay for them to run around but if they think they woman doing it they like oh no i can't have your ass but they feel like we supposed to forgive them so i was real big on anything that you can do i can do better you want to play games i got more games than a playstation so bring them on my boy so <laughs> so y'all we was basically going through this cycle of even though we were staying together it was kind of like and one time he actually told me this he was like like when i look at you he was like like you like the woman that i want to marry he was like, I just know that I'm not ready for you right now. He said, but then when I see you talking to other people, he be like, he was like, I, I, I can't lose you, but I still know what I want to do on the side. And I told him that's cool, but don't be expecting me to wait on you. I was like, it, that's just, that's what it is. So he ended up trying to make it official with me. But it was like, because of all the going back and forth and we was talking to different people, I kind of didn't feel like he was serious just because like I said when I grew up that's the stuff that I saw so um then still I was catching him doing stuff and I was just like that's exactly why I didn't want to try to make this a relationship because I already knew like little shit was going to be happening y'all it would be stuff like say for instance I heard him on the phone with somebody um, and I didn't say nothing. He's like sneaking, trying to talk on the phone in the bathroom. Just little bitty shit. So I just got to the point, you know, I was like, fuck it. You know, just fuck it. So then I'm out. I'm talking to somebody. Y'all, I had actually been talking to somebody, somebody on the side for like a whole four or five years. And I didn't find out later that he knew until later on. But that's another story. <laughs> So, yeah, this one particular time, um, we, like, we done moved in to a different place and everything. And I had to go to his car for something. I don't know why I had to go in his car. And it was, like, his work vehicle. Like, he had a job that supplied him with a work vehicle. So, I get in the car, and it's a box of condoms in the car. What size? What? Oh, my god. We goodness. need the detail. We need the details, don't we? <laughs> I, just forgot. I believe it was a magnum, like from just being honest. <laughs> you take a magnum? <laughs> well, I can see you take a magnum. Okay. Either way, <clears throat> I was just like, why Why do we have these? Like, And this was, it would be a like a span we'll go between, okay, we messing around, and then, oh, okay, we're going to try to do right. And it was through one of them moments, like, we were supposed to have been doing right or whatever. So I was just like, we don't use these. I mean, not saying that you're not supposed to. <laughs> but I was like, we don't use condoms. So meaning that he's screwing around with somebody so i called my sister and i was like then to my sister i was mad and my sister was like well why don't you just ask him i said ask him for what i said because either way any answer he give me is not gonna be good enough if he try to lie and be like oh no i'm holding those for my homeboy nigga you grown your homeboy grown why are you holding condoms for your homeboy i said and even if he said yeah i'm cheating on you that's gonna piss me off too because we made this agreement that we're gonna do right so i was just like you know something it ain't no answer that he can give me that's gonna satisfy me so at this point i'm like fuck it i'm just like i'm just gonna go and go out here and i'm gonna do my own thing too yeah which is totally i am a complete different person nowadays right but thank goodness y'all I'm just telling y'all, like, that's how I was. And I know a lot of y'all probably like, why was you going back and forth? It happens in relationships, y'all. Yeah. People do so much. They fight. They And we wasn't even fighting. It was just that we was cheating on each other. But it was the simple fact that we had a child. And actually, I think by this time, we had two kids, to be honest. And I was just like, kind of like 
over it. And y'all, uh, another story is we actually end up getting married, but that ain't the part y'all in here for. This is the part yeah, y'all here for. That's story so time. the I would actually say the lesson in this story to me is. It's like, if you're not going to do right, just let the person go. Because I think that's how a lot of people, when they're young, how you end up breaking a relationship down. It could have been, and and it's like, I respect him for actually saying, you know something, you're the person who I want to be with, but I'm not ready to be with you now. What he should have did was actually just went ahead and walked away and not stayed around like, oh, I'm going to try to do right. I'm going to try to do right. Because it's like a kid in a candy store. If you already know that your intentions are, you still want to be over here playing with the little thought bots. And the same with me. When I realized, like, this person ain't going to... Well, because I had the mentality that I had, I don't think I could have realized that then. It was just that... It took me to get with some other people to realize it is possible for people to be faithful in this world. And thank God, because I would have been the same way. I always used to be the type of person, you keep your feelings in your motherfucking back pocket. That's it. So that way you don't have to worry about nobody hurting you. So I would just say, like, if you feel like things are not going the way that you expect them to go, to walk away in a relationship especially like if you got your heart in it and you see that you're getting hurt i don't even care if you have kids if you have to reach out to family friends somebody to help you um do that but don't just stay in a situation simply because you have kids So, if y'all want to see the video where my mom caught a boy in my room, you can click here. And if you want to see the video that YouTube recommend to you, you can click here. And then make sure y'all subscribe. And we hope to see y'all in the next video. Peace. Peace. Good job, baby.